Robert Frost wrote that home is the place where, when you have to go there, they have to take you in. And the law says that home is the place you can sometimes kill to protect, but not always, as Cecil Boyette learned in State v. Boyette. Renata Wilder and Deborah Rhodes were childhood friends who lived and worked together. The two had been in a romantic relationship that had ended by the time Wilder met Boyette. When Wilder and Boyette became romantically involved, Boyette began to take Rhodes's place in Wilder's life. Rhodes moved out of the home she shared with Wilder, and Boyette moved in. Wilder fired Rhodes from her job at Wilder's bar and then gave the job to Boyette. A few days before Wilder and Boyette were to be married, Wilder went to visit Rhodes. When Wilder was returning home, she was in a car accident and then had to walk the rest of the way back to her house. Shortly after Wilder returned, Rhodes arrived. Boyette testified that he feared for his life because Rhodes banged on the door and because she'd threatened him in the past and he knew she carried a loaded gun. Boyette shot Rhodes in the head from about four feet away. There was evidence that after knocking on the door, Rhodes backed away from it and waited for it to open before Boyette shot her. Boyette was tried and convicted of first-degree murder. He appealed directly to the New Mexico Supreme Court, arguing that the trial court erred in failing to instruct the jury on defense of habitation, which gives a defendant the right to use deadly force when necessary to prevent an intruder from committing a felony in the defendant's home.